All right, let's get her done. It is 1 a.m. the night before I leave for Alaska and I'm finally to the point where I feel like I can start putting stuff in bags. My flight tomorrow is at 3 p.m. so I have some time tomorrow, not really. But it's just kind of been an uphill battle just getting, this is the first hunt of the year, so like getting my bow together, my arrows, fletching new arrows, I'm running Axis arrows instead of FMJs for this hunt getting camera equipment together because I need so many batteries because we're gonna be off the grid essentially. So it's just been a lot. So I think we're sitting pretty good though to not be scrambling tomorrow. Lots of batteries, lots of external hard drives, lots of broadheads, secondary camera, backup camera. Mixture of clothing, gear, bow, tripod, backpack, uh, Yeti duffel, I'll throw everything in. Bug net is very plausible that it, this will be used a lot in Alaska during August. So I'm pretty much packed up. It's 11.30 right now. We have to leave for the airport in an hour and a half. Flight's at, we're bored at 3.30. We're in good shape. Next stop, airport. made it here in Anchorage, Alaska. What's up? About to do the long trek north. It is currently, well, back at home right now, it's currently 5 a.m. and I haven't slept all day, so I'm almost 24 hours awake, but we are gonna make this long trek and I'm gonna pass out now, so I'll probably see you guys in a couple hours. Wow, we tie our iron for that, don't we? Oh, we do, actually. The situation. A, the situation is not, not ideal. <laughs> We're not even to the gravel part of the highway, and we blew a tire already. It's not bueno. That's what we got spares for, though. So we are halfway through our huge long trip. Essentially, we're driving all the way to the northern part of Alaska. So it's 16, 17 hours, I believe. So we're halfway through, we stopped in Fairbanks. We keep having tire issues with the trailer. We've had two pop on us so far. So we stopped and grabbed extra tires and we had two ply tires and we bought six ply. So hopefully, fingers crossed that'll work, but we're gonna grab some food. I still have to get my tags and uh, we're just gotta make a couple errands in Fairbanks and then north we go. Rocket, okay, how you feel about the situation now? I'm feeling a lot better right now. A lot better, actually. Three added tires. Three, yeah, three out of tires. We patched our patched the one that had a hole in it. We finally found a leak. 
And we still have two other spares, so I think we'll be okay. I hope. Knock on wood. We are a full bunch of stuff on the lens. We are approximately. How, how, how long are we in our trip? Almost 24 hours? 600 miles. 600, like. Right, 630, 40 miles, and uh, what, it's, what time is it right now? It's, all, it's been 20 hours of travel. 10, so, yeah, 20 hours. 20 hours of travel, 630. Two blown tires. Well, Two blown, blown tires. Tire, one hole in a tire. We made it to our final spot of civilization for the next 10 days, pretty much. And we're in, what, what is it called again? Coldfoot. Cold foot. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. We're in cold foot right now. The last cell yeah, service, feet, the last bro. restaurant, the think last gas feet. station for the next several hundred miles. So we're loaded up with gas and everything and just had a ton of food. Too much food, a bunch of coffee. And uh, next time you'll see us, we'll be in uh, caribou country making things happen. Oh, yeah, dude. Right over it. Well, it is officially day two, morning of the first day. We spent the night in camp. Last night, I didn't video anything setting up because it was downpouring. It was like 2 a.m. Uh, it was just getting dark. We had to set the tent up and get everything situated. Stuff was wet, so it was just kind of a mess, but... It's in the morning now, and <laughs> we're all pretty hyped. Uh, Justin and Sage are still sleeping, uh, but me and Taylor, we're actually go, gonna go for a little walk and just see what's around. I don't know if we're actually gonna hunt this area. Um, we have to do a lot of driving today and try to find the caribou, because caribou are, they migrate, so they're not always in the same spot. They can maybe hang out in the same spots, or if you see caribou there, that more caribou can pass through the same spot, but we gotta find them first. So that's kind of today's objective, is, is to find them. I think I see one. Yep, I see one. Where at? Way the frick over there. I see the clouds, flat, 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 and then there's like that peak, yeah. the first peak, mm -hmm. just glass right below that. So Taylor and I just spotted the first caribou of the trip. He's like way far away, so we're gonna get a little bit closer. Um, Sage and Justin are still in camp sleeping, but we wanted to go out and explore a little bit, so we just walked maybe a quarter mile up to this top. Uh, but we spotted one, which is awesome. So we're going to see if we can get a little bit closer and uh, maybe see how big of a bull he actually is. situation <laughs> situation is this man cannot pour water no we forgot the coffee filters yeah, well yeah we did forget coffee filters so now we're making coffee with paper towels and coffee grounds 
And it seems to be working, but if you look here, it also looks like it's it's feeding the trailer some coffee too. Hey, trailer needs to come up. Uh, Espresso French press, dude. <laughs> Is it good? Please somebody here. It's not Hold bad. On. Let me Dude, it tastes just like coffee. It looks it tastes the same. It's just coffee, dude. Do it. You do you, so but I'm I'm just saying. <laughs> The problem is I sunk my teeth in it. <laughs> That's like straight caffeine. Hey. Two oh, I hope everything's right on. You have a messed up arrow in your cover? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sage, give us one fun fact about you. The viewers need to know who you are. Oh, hey, hold on, hold on. Taylor, say one fun fact about Sage. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna let him do it to you, too. One fun fact about Sage is he has free health care, so if we see a bear, we're shooting, as, we're shooting his kneecaps first. <laughs> free health care. All right, one fun fact about Taylor. One fun fact about Taylor. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't know that I'm actually shooting him first. <laughs> oh, so the strategy for the rest of the day is going to be hopefully trying to locate some caribou. Um, we got our camp situation pretty organized. We organized everything in the back of the truck. So we have our packs accessible, bows accessible, and basically gonna drive until we find caribou and then if it makes sense to go after them, we're gonna go after them because five miles on each side of this road is archery only, which is awesome. And we've been, while we've been putting camp together, we probably saw three or four or five hunters in trucks, like just going up the road. So we're excited to hopefully find, find, find some caribou. <laughs> So we're doing some pre-video camera slash shooting at a ground squirrel over here, hopefully. 42. You see Where is he? He did. Oh, oh I see. To the left. left. Right by 50. You see him, Justin? Yeah. 50. Ooh, did you get him? Just, low. just underneath it. Dude, <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally that far. Dude. Yeah, I want that right there. All right, boys. Sage, what are we about to do? We have to go drop some caribou. <laughs> or at least find We're going to find some caribou. We got to try. <laughs> we just spotted a caribou. Actually, the second caribou we spotted, we only traveled a couple miles down the road. So, really good sign. This one was like mile away give it a mile, mile and a half a maybe and, a and then the other one was just working the pipeline but we're gonna keep going hopefully we can find some bulls i saw both their antlers together cow and a cow cow calf yeah cow calf yep i think it's a cow but it might be a small bull i think i might see nuts i think it might be a small bull about to see anyway. Oh god. Test one, two. That is a pair of nuts, man. Let's get it. Did it all crouch up to it?
this one. He's right there. We should have stayed over there. I know. What do you think we've moved? size bowl. He's off in the distance that way, but it looks like there might be a creek bed that we can try and run up and intercept in there. So we can put there, there an opportunity. Here plays that. I'm going to be over here. Here, we'll go wide. Wide. It's makes me bigger. Yep. Yeah, he's going much for sure. He's kind of going away, but you guys want to get going. Alright, let me see him through here and then we'll take off. Alright, let's go. You got binos and a rangefinder? Yep. Too far, too flat. Yep. Too yep. aggressive. Too far, too fast, too aggressive. Too far, too fast, too aggressive. Yeah. Initially, it wasn't aggressive though. No, but like that last 200, it was just way too open. We needed to be like on the right side. If we were <laughs> so in the open though, so. Muskox chilling on the side of the road. It's pretty awesome. 